Hey guys, it's Sophie. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, welcome. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do both a front and back walkover, just kind of guiding you guys through some of my favorite exercises and giving you guys my best tips on how to get your front or back walkover. Now, your back is going to need to be warmed up in order to do a walkover and your legs a little bit as well, so I'm going to give you guys a quick overview of some exercises you can do to warm up, but otherwise, let's get started. Before we get into any of the exercises, let's start off by warming up our back and our hips. If you've been following my tutorials for a little while, you already know the drill. We're going to be holding each of these split stretches for about 30 seconds and repeat each of the back exercises that I'm about to show you 8 to 10 times and we're going to end off with holding a bridge for 30 seconds. Now these are just some of the exercises that I find work for me and help me feel nice and stretched before going into these tutorials, but feel free to do whatever warm up is best for you. I would also recommend doing a quick warm up for your wrists as this tutorial will put a lot of pressure on them. And don't forget to rest your back after doing any of the deeper back stretches. Okay, we're gonna get into some of these exercises to help for your walkovers. And to start off, we'll be standing up and just practice falling back into bridge and getting up from it. If you can't quite do this yet, feel free to come up against a wall and walk your hands up and down to practice the motion. I'm just using a chair because I didn't have a wall nearby. But we're gonna be repeating this five times and holding the bridge position for about five counts each time. Bridges are one of the main components of a walkover, so it's important to have this movement down. and just relax your back when you're done. Now the other main component of a walkover is this motion of kicking your legs over your head. So that's what we're gonna practice next. Your hands can stay on the ground the entire time and you can just kick your legs back and forth into and out of a bridge position. So we're gonna do this five times on each side, starting with the right side. Now you don't necessarily have to come into a full split when doing these kickovers, but the more you can open your legs, the better. You also want to think about taking enough power when you're pushing off the ground so that your legs can make it over your head. And also try to shift your weight forward when you're coming into the bridge, and then shift your weight backwards when you're coming out of it. Okay, just relax your back real quick, and then we'll repeat the same thing on the other side.
now going to guide you guys through a few different steps to help you get your front walk over. So the first step here would be to place both your hands on the floor, then kick your legs into a bridge, and once both feet are on the ground, you can then stand up from the bridge. The second step would then be to start kicking your legs over as you're bringing your hands down, then standing up from the bridge position, trying to make this more of a combined motion. As you can see, in this step, your first leg is already starting to come up as you're bringing your body down. And then the last step here would be to do your full walkover. Now the main difference here is that you're not stopping in a bridge position. You want to start coming up from the bridge once your first leg has touched the ground, and your second leg will come down at the same time as your body is coming up. Now whichever level you're at right now, you can just practice that a few times, and hopefully if you're at levels 1 or 2 right now, you can progress to one of the more advanced levels sooner. Now let's go ahead and do the same thing with back walkovers, which is essentially the same process as your front walkover, but reversed. The first step here is to come into a bridge whichever way is best for you and kick your legs over and then stand up. Now if you're having trouble falling into a bridge like we were practicing before, you can come up into a bridge from the ground like I was showing here and just continue on from there. The second step would be to then fall into a bridge position and then kick your legs over and stand up right away. So here you want to start lifting your hands off the floor once your first leg reaches the floor to kind of create one combined movement. And the last step here would be your full back walk over. And so in this last step, you want to start lifting your first leg as you come into your bridge. So you should never have both your legs on the ground at the same time, except of course at the very beginning and the very end of the walkover. And again, just practice whichever level you can do best right now, and you can work towards progressing to the next one. Now one common mistake people make with walkovers is relying on your flexibility and twisting your shoulders when you're coming into or out of your bridge position. So you really want to try to keep your shoulders nice and squared when you're doing your walkovers. As you can see, when your shoulders are not squared, your alignment is off and your whole walkover is crooked, which can actually lead to a deduction. Another tip would be to keep your hands and feet as close together when you're doing a bridge. So as you can see, in both your front and back walkover, it's more difficult to get up from the bridge or to kick your legs over when your hands and feet are so far apart. So if you bring them closer together, it'll make it easier to complete your walkover and it'll also help you open your legs into split more during the walkover. And one more common mistake is looking up during your front walkover. You want to keep your head tucked in and always looking ahead of you. This can help you not only with the speed of your walkover, but it can also help you bring your feet closer to your hands in the bridge, which brings me back to my previous tip. So it is really important to keep your gaze looking forward and your head tucked in. And this is what your walkover should look like in the end. That's basically all the tips and exercises I have for you guys today. So great job. And that is going to be it for today's video. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys found this helpful. Comment down below if you tried out this tutorial and let me know how you did because I'd love to know. 
But anyways, don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe down below if you haven't already. Also, don't forget to turn on my post notifications so you don't miss another video. And I'll see you guys next week with a brand new video. Bye!